This is a quick tutorial to show you how and why I like to use Buffer App to schedule tweets on a daily basis. So I'm at BufferApp.com. What you want to do is sign up for a free account. I've already signed up for a free account which gets you three tweets per day and up to 10 tweets in your buffer. So I'm just going to sign in. Now once you're signed in, this is what your dashboard looks like. This is where your scheduled tweets will go. But the first thing you want to do is go to goodies and install this Chrome extension right here. Or if you have Safari, you can install this one. This will put this little icon here in the corner, which is the power behind the Buffer app. The second thing you want to do is go to your dashboard and add your Twitter account. If you have multiple Twitter accounts, you can upgrade for just a few dollars more and use multiple Twitter accounts, which I also have as well in addition to this one. But this is my work one. So um, the next thing you want to do is go to your settings and set up three different times to send tweets. Now once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. You can add more things later like your bit.ly details and add team members and lots of other features. But that's pretty much the gist of it for now. So let me take you through my daily routine at work. When I get to work, one of the first things I do is I have to check all the Google alerts that have come in through work. So I can see here that here's some Symbolu EDU uh, Google alerts that came in. So this looks like somebody blogged about us. So that looks worthy of a tweet and we do this to support our users. So this helps generate a tweet here and I can change it to make it more customized. And what we like to do is add a hashtag saying Symbaloo Love for our users that love Symbaloo. And then I just add it to the buffer. And that would go into the next time slot. So I'm back in my Google Alerts and I can see that there's a lot of other Google Alerts. And the benefit to doing this and adding them to the buffer is that I'm not overwhelming all of our Twitter fans um, or followers with a bunch of tweets from our Google Alerts all at once. So here's another one that came in. This looks like it's the Discovery Educator Network. I can add this one. And add to buffer. And let's say I do that about 10 times. That saves me a lot of time and saves our readers from having to read 10 tweets in a row back to back. So that's pretty much how I like to use Buffer app, and you're welcome to do the same.